Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Jose the Proud Millennial and today I'm going to be sharing with you how I made this awesome console. It's one of those DIYs that I'm just like, how did I not think about this like way before? I think I saw something on Instagram it wasn't exactly like this because I don't really have power tools or do I have like a cutter and things like that. I wanted to make it simple so that I can do it in my apartment with the tools I had. Before we continue, if you like home decor, interior design, and apartment living, go ahead and subscribe down below and also follow me on Instagram. Like many of you know, I enjoy getting to know you. Go ahead and follow me. Here is my handle. At some point I saw this DIY on Instagram. I don't even know who, I don't even, I didn't even save the, the reel or anything. Like if any of you find it, please share it because I definitely took inspiration from them. Um, but theirs was much more difficult. I think they did a lot more of like cutting and drilling and things like that. So this one probably required one major cut, which I did at Lowe's and I just had a drill. I am a DIYer, but I can, honestly tell you that this is as easy as going and buying some items painting and then screwing stuff on like that's pretty much about it i have a breakdown of what i spent so let's add this up so i had this one was 70 this one was 70 this one was 50 190 so far just on the cabinets and then i bought the top part for 25 dollars. the paint was 10 dollars. cabinet poles were $4 each, so I spent $20. So overall, I spent right under $250. Like, how, where are you gonna find a console table like this? Nowhere. I mean, even if you go to Home Goods and you look at the ones they have, those are like $400. And I have to be honest, I've never been impressed with those console tables. They're, they all look kind of cheap. So there are so many ways to customize this thing. These were unfinished, so you can stain the whole thing, change these poles if you wanted to into something that fit your style more. It was super easy, and I hope that you give this a shot. So yeah, let's get to it. First thing, you are gonna have to head out to Lowe's, and you can see all these unfinished cabinets. I went with two of the wall units that are 30 inches wide and one 15 inch wide cabinet yeah they are the wall units which i i'm also very impressed at they're actually pretty lightweight and as you can see i was you know ready to take these home and here's what they look like when i just laid them out and next step is going to be doing some painting and this is where the cabinet is. I already took down a door and I'm gonna paint this block. One thing that I did is I numbered each door. So like this one is number one, goes with number one. And so I've numbered them because I'm gonna take them out and just easy to put back. And this is the paint I used, the chalk, chalkboard paint by Krylon Block. It has a smooth slate-like finish. So I'm painting one of the sides and all the edges like I did for these. So now that these are semi-painted for the most part, I'm going to do another coat. But to place them, I'm going to measure here and here and make sure it's even. I know I have to move it over this way somewhat. The other thing I bought yesterday was this board and got it cut right in the right size to go right up top. Just got these cabinet poles from Amazon and I'm having a struggle because I have an odd number of cabinets for my console. Should they go this way, even though this one doesn't have a pair or should they go up top? So many of you preferred the up and down handles and I could not be happier with your decision. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I would totally show you how to install these but i don't know that i did the best job at doing these so i will let you find a video that would be probably more helpful than me trying to explain how to install cabinet poles okay so i finished putting on the handles because there is this space here between the top of the cabinet and this little shelf i have some scrap pieces of wood and so i'm going to put these on the corner here. So what I've done is I've made some holes for these screws to attach these pieces of wood to the actual cabinet which will then be used to attach the top 
to you. I've now attached the top, and as you can remember, there was a piece of wood here. So I've attached with some long screws. This has gone through this piece of wood, the extra piece of wood, and then the cabinet. So I did feel through, it doesn't poke out or anything. So these are in, they're all screwed in. Here, 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 nowhere, there. And now I'm going to paint this top the same matte color and do some touch-ups. Just do it with a brush and one of these tiny brushes because they like to get into every crevice. I know that these screws may look weird right now, but they will blend in so well that no one will know. They'll never know. Okay, now let's get on to some styling. So I made this huge canvas um, from scratch with some wood and some canvas cloth. So let me know if you want to know how to make this because I spent like $9 to make this. Really quickly, this is a painting I made and it is a representation of people gathering around. It's abstract, so uh, it's okay if you don't see it. <laughs> so the beauty of it is that I can always redo it because now the canvas is made and I can just repaint over it. Now I'm gonna just style the actual tabletop. I started off with this awesome little bowl that everybody loves. I got this from Goodies, a local store, and this vintage thrifted lamp. I have to connect it down there. Um, I did make a hole to connect some electronics. Uh, I didn't do a good job at it, so I also won't show you how to do that. <laughs> Just being honest, sorry, it was not, it was not pretty. Um, but if you have tools, it will be much, much easier than for me. Okay, then next I went in with some of my music scores, some opera scores, and um, some classical music. This is all, a lot of this stuff is vintage, so I stacked them there, and then I went ahead and stacked some of my marble pieces and some candlesticks of different styles. I am kind of obsessed with candlesticks, so um, don't mind me. I then went ahead with this vessel that I bought a week ago, and I painted it a more charcoal color. And I also went to the flower market to buy these awesome olive branches this morning. They were about $6 for a bundle. I didn't even use half of them. So I highly recommend getting some fresh branches. And I did remove the bottom leaves to make sure that it looks more organic. Lastly, I lit the candles and there it is. again for watching i really hope you enjoyed it as much as i did honestly i encourage any of you to try this if you have a space that's just kind of awkward and you just want to add something i think this would be an awesome thing to do all and these items probably fit in your car like they did in mine if you do give this a try please go ahead and tag me on instagram show me on instagram i would love 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 to see your creations can't wait to see how many of you really take on this challenge and really try to make it your own. Also, if you liked the DIY canvas, go ahead and let me know in the comments below if you would like for me to actually do a video on how to make them, because honestly, that canvas probably cost me about $9. Okay, so don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and I will see you very soon.